good morning to one and all today we are going to see a problem with a problem on economic load dispatch with considering the b loss coefficient matrix take down this problem the cost curves of two plants are given as follows c1 is equal to 0.04 p1 square plus 25 p1 plus 120 rupees per hour then c2 is equal to 0.035 P2 square plus 10 P2 plus 160 rupees per hour. So here, as I said before, uh, instead of rupee, some uh, whatever is there, say for example, dollar will be given, some euros will be given, or whoever watching this video, your own uh, country, uh, um, like uh, uh, country rupees will be given. So there, you follow whatever given here, the you follow. So here, the problem is given in rupees per hour. Then next, the loss coefficient for the above matrix is given as B11 is equal to 0.001 per megawatt. Then B12 is equal to B21 is equal to minus 0.0002 per megawatt, and B22 is equal to 0.003 per megawatt. Determine the economical scheduling corresponding to um, 20 rupees per megawatt hour and the corresponding to the system load that can be met with it okay so here b uh, b loss coefficients are given next is lambda is given determine the economic generation schedule corresponding to 20 rupees per megawatt hour so 20 rupees per megawatt hour uh, what is the unit is lambda one La lambda unit only rupees per megawatt hour so <clears throat> sometimes lambda that no, Directly not given, so they will be given some values like twenty rupees per megawatt hour. So based on the units, you need to consider that as the lambda. You need to identify which is lambda in the problem. Then easily uh, you can easily solve this problem. So here the, this is the matrix P L is equal to P one into P two matrix into P one one P two one two P two one P two two into P one P two. This matrix. So while uh, simplifying this matrix, you will get the um, get as get as B B double one um, B one one P one square plus two B one two P one P two plus B two two P two square. So here uh, you need to substitute the values for B one one B one two and B two two already given in the problem itself. So very easy substitute and uh, simplify it. You will get the power loss equation as. Uh, P L is equal to zero point zero zero one P one square minus zero point zero 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 four P one P two plus zero point zero 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 three P two square. This is the P L equation we got. So here, while uh, doing this uh, calculation, you need to be very very careful. After decimal, you need to take all the values because you you are just multiplying. So don't round it off. If you miss one zero from here also. Here, if you miss one zero from here, the total problem went wrong. So you need to uh, very very careful while substituting all this value. So what is the condition for optimal dispatch? L one into D C one divided by D P one is equal to L two into D C two divided by D P two is equal to lambda. So what is L one? L one already uh, we uh, de derived this kind of problem previously also. So L one is equal to one divided by one minus D P L divided by D P one. Here, what we need to do is we need to differentiate with respect to uh, do p one. So uh, the, this uh, power loss equation we need to differentiate with respect to p one. So while differentiating, you, you, we are getting as zero point zero zero two p one minus zero point zero 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 four p two. So only you need to differentiate p one alone. So here you see p one alone only you need if you differentiate here. So you can't differentiate here because here p two is there. So P one alone, if you differentiate here, it will becomes one. So here it will becomes two into this value, zero point zero zero one into two. So that's what we did here. So after simplifying, uh, <coughs> you'll get uh, one equation form. And here L two also similarly L two is equal to one divided by one minus D P L divided by D P two. D P L divided by D P two. So here if you differentiate only P two, you need to differentiate. So P two if you differentiate, you'll get a uh, uh, yeah. Uh, minus 0.004 um, into P1 you will get, and here P2 if you differentiate here, this term will become 0.0003 into 2. <laughs> so if, uh, this is the 
This is what we have written here. So it is one minus uh, minus of this matrix. Uh, so simplifying this. So here L1 into TC1 divided by DP1 is equal to lambda. That is the optimality condition. So L1, uh, L1 already we calculated 1 divided by 1 minus 0 0.002, P1 minus 0 0.000 for P2 into DC1 divided by DP1 already given in the problem. If not, you need to differentiate again. So C1 is given. So DC1 divided by, so you need to differentiate with respect to P1. So you uh, easily you can differentiate it. And that uh, um, answer we are substituting over here. So while differentiating DC1 divided by DP1, we, we are getting the answer as 0 .00, sorry, 0 0.08 P1 plus 25. So you need to multiply and you need to simplify this accordingly. Just what I did is I have taken this term to this side. So again, I, I am just uh, uh, multiplying with 20 and simplifying again. Uh, we are getting the answer as 0 0.12 P1 plus 0 0.08 P2 is equal to minus 5. Just you take as equation number 1. Similarly, L2 into DC2 divided by DP2 is equal to lambda. So L2 already we calculated. So here we calculated L2. Yeah. So here you we calculated now L2, the same equation you are um, uh, uh, writing here. Next, DC2 divided by DP2, you need to differentiate the C2 equation with respect to P2. We are getting 0 0.07 P2 plus 10. So here further simply equal to lambda. Lambda given in the problem as 20. Okay, 20, uh, what is the um, unit for lambda? 20 rupees per megawatt hour. That is given in the problem. Just a simplification, we are getting the uh, equation as, after simplification, we are getting the equation as 0 0.082 P2 minus 0 0.008 P1 is equal to 10. So we are getting two equations. So equation 1 and 2. While solving equation 1 and 2 with your scientific calculator, scientific calculator directly you can solve this uh, to uh, linear equations. So directly you, you, we are getting the answer as P1 is equal to 115.4580 megawatt. Similarly, P2 is equal to 110.6870 uh, megawatt. So you also tell in the comment whether you are getting the same answer or not. So as I said, after decimal, you need to don't round it off. You need to take uh, uh, four digits uh, then. Uh, and also you just check whether it is satisfying the demand or not. And it is satisfying the demand. So P1 is equal to 115.4580 and P2 is equal to 110.6870. But here in this problem, I think demand is not given. Demand is not given. So no need of bother about that. You just solve this problem and you, what, whatever they set to calculate. So they set to calculate, determine the economical generation schedule. Generation, generation scheduling only they ask. So P1 and P2, we need to find out from this problem. And the answer you need to highlight. That's it. Thank you.